Green friend Timberlake here. Hope you're enjoying the month of Sudoku. We're almost at the end. I have another treat for you. A new setter, the T-Rex. Never had him on this channel before. Great puzzle called Rainbow Beetle. A lot of great uh, reviews on Discord server for it. Heard it was actually pretty difficult as well. So I'll show all the candidates when I'm solving this one, a normal solve. And with that, it's solving time. Thank you so much, Rainbow. Uh, Beetle seems like a great puzzle. Thank you so much, the T-Rex, for letting me feature this on the channel. What I'm noticing is here, one, two, three, uh, naked triple across the bottom here. That's just, I don't know why that stood out to me, but it did. Which means I can solve that for six, that for nine. And then, what other kind of stuff? I, I mean, I see a lot of one, twos, and threes, actually. So one, two, three right here. Another naked triple. Which means that has to be a nine, and you can, that has to be a seven, and this is going to be a five-eight hidden pair. It looks like. All right, and this is a five-eight. Now those can be a five or an eight. There's only one six here in row two, and one nine, so we can solve that. Okay, great. Uh, off to a pretty good start here. Other things I want to notice or look at. Um. Okay, something I see, don't normally see, six, seven, and eight. They seem to be restricted right, right here. So that's a hidden triple. Let me do that. All right, six, seven, eight are limited in these three spots in this column and in this block. So I'll get rid of everything that's not a six, seven, or an eight. Nice. I don't usually see those. I don't know why that popped out at me. Okay. Uh, let's move on here to go into the cannons. Let's look through the cannons, see if there's something else we can pick out. Okay, on the ones, I do have a finned X wing that I see right now. Another way to look at it would be an empty rectangle, but I'll just show the finned X wing. All right, there's the X-Wing, here's your fin. I probably said this a bunch of times, either the fin is true and that's not a one, or the fin's false and you have an X-Wing, and this can't be a one as well, right? The fin's gonna be within base set, and then you're gonna solve in between the uh, where the X-Wing is. That's how you do it. So that's a two, three, two, three that makes this a one. Nice. Okay, let's move on to the twos. So I got that two, three, got this two. I'm looking for like a swordfish thing, don't see it. I'm looking for more naked hidden triples, like two, three, two, three, four. I was trying to see if there's another two, three, four I could use, but I don't see it right now. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Let's move on to the threes. What do the threes have for us? Uh, nothing that I can use to solve right now, it looks like. Okay, okay. How about the fours? Okay, I got a pointing pair. So that's not a four. Three, four, two, three. Hmm, how does that two, three play? One, two, three, two, three, two, nine. Uh, I can't further eliminate that unfortunately fives nothing for the fives oh you know what though i see fives and looks like it's fives and sevens see how they don't move the five seven that's also another hidden pair that's a hidden pair not a hidden triple so we can eliminate all those other candidates from the from those cells it's gotta be a five or a seven sweet love it okay that's helpful and what does that do? So the ones are still there. Uh, you basically have a one, two, three, triple now. You know, these ones are a pointing pair, which, okay, we know that. Hmm. These ones are a pointing pair, yeah, okay. And. A 
feel like there's some more that I can actually solve because of that, but I don't, I don't see it right now. All right, nothing I can do with the sixes, the sevens. Uh, we got a pointing pair of sevens here, so those can't be sevens. Can't eliminate any further with the sevens. Let's go to the eights. Nothing I can do with those eights. How about the nines? Uh, I do see a unique rectangle with a nine. So this is a two nine here, right? So if we solve this for a two, those would be nines. That'd be a two. If we solve the entire puzzle, you could also put a, you know, if this wasn't unique, you could put a nine there. These would be twos, and that'd be a nine. Um, and so we know it's a unique. So we can always go across from where the by value cell is. We can eliminate. So that's not a two. A unique rectangle type. Seven. All my puzzles I do have one unique solution. Okay. What can we do here, right? Uh, actually, I'll go back and see if there's something else that I might have missed in the eliminations before. Okay, that's point pair, so that's not a two. Nice. All right. And I actually see... Yeah, get rid of that. So I see a one, three, one, two, two, three. Yep. And so this is an XY wing, right? If that's a one, that's a three. If this is a two, that's a three. So whatever, two purple C can't be a three. I can get rid of the three right there. Uh, still more threes, but that does create another by value cell. And in fact, what I see is you go right here. One five seven, one seven, and five seven. So that is going to be an X Y Z wing. All right. And interesting. So if this was a one, that's a seven. If this is a five, that's a seven. Or this is a seven. Either way, anything all three of these C can't be a seven. So we can eliminate seven from right there. And if we eliminate the seven from right there. Then what you'll notice is now this is a pointing pair of seven. You get rid of that seven. Nice. Really nice. Okay. This is good. This is helpful. Now where can I go with this puzzle? I don't see anything with the eights. I already did what I could with the nines. I feel like we can start working with the by value cells now. Because we have a lot of them. We have quite a few of them. All right, so let me figure it out here. Okay, on the by value cells, what am I seeing here? Uh, three, two, two, three, three, one, one, two, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Um, three or two, three, three, one. One, two, that doesn't do anything for us. Three, two, two, one, one, three. Okay. Hmm. What else are we looking to solve here? I'm looking now. Two, three, three, one. One seven doesn't help us. Two three three two. Is there something else we can solve? No. Not a by by cell, is it? Uh. No, I don't see by by cell. Okay. All right. I do see. No, I don't. Thought I saw something I could use. I don't see it. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm looking now at the at the fours. Uh, let's go back to buy value cells here. What's going on with this? All right. All right. Two, two, 
three, three, two, two, one. So we have right here, we have another, I think I'd solve this XY wing. We'll have another XY wing. Right here is the pivot. And those are the pinchers. So if that's a, a one, that's a two, that's a three, that's a two. So wherever these see, they can't be two. So that can't be a two. That's helpful. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really, I mean, there's still three twos along the way. Give us something. Two, two, three, three, one. Trying to see if there's something else I can. One, two, three, four. Okay. Looking across. Oh, all right. So I see a naked quad. All right. What I noticed is this one, five, seven, and an eight. And I was like, oh, seven, eight. So one, five, seven, eight. That's between four, four, those four spots in row five. So you can get rid of these ones. You get rid of the five. And you can get rid of the eight, right? Nice. So what does that do? It means there's only two more ones right there. Okay, we got, you know, we got rid of that five. And it leaves us a two, three, four, nine. How does that help? Did it create more buy value cells? Well, we got a two, three right here. So we can get rid of that two and get rid of that three because that was a one, five. And that does help. And then you got a one, five naked pair right there. You got two threes right here. Uh, I feel like that's huge. I feel like having that right there is huge. Three, two, two, three, okay. It will like, come into play. Eight, seven, seven, five. Five, seven, seven, one. One, three, no, it doesn't connect to eight. Seven, eight, eight, one, one, two, no. I'm trying to see if I can connect to that, that seven. See if I can knock out a seven right there. I can't just yet. Okay. Two, three, three, two, two, three, three, one. And it just goes to one, seven. Huh. Three, two, two, nine. All right. I feel like an XY chain it should be able to solve, get us where we need to go with this one. I'm just not picking up where it's at. Okay, looking at the twos again. No, I can't do anything there. Okay, go to threes. There's something with the threes. Uh, no. Nothing I can see with threes. Okay. Huh, 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 huh. Four, three. Two, three, or three, two. Fours. You want the fours? We'll go to the fives. Okay, now I can eliminate the five right there. That's huge. Right? Just playing a pair of fives. That's good stuff. And in fact, it looks like it's a naked pair of fives now because you got this one, six, eight triple. So that can get rid of that one. Ooh, I like that because now there's only one place left for a one right there. See how that works? Nice, nice. I'm glad I looked at those the cannons again. Okay, okay. So now these like hidden pairs really, really help bring this puzzle back to life. Okay, so that's an eight. That's a two, that's a six. And that's a two. We got a three over here, one, four, seven across the bottom, one, two, three in row eight. Uh one, two, four over here, so I'm gonna put stuff for three up top. Three, one, two, three, two. Oh, I'm getting excited because we we're getting close. This was a tough puzzle. A lot of techniques I'm used to seeing, but to put them all together, I can tell you hidden triples, 
quads. Uh, naked quads I can see. Hidden triples and hidden pairs are a lot harder for me, especially when you're doing the modern software approach. And I'll put a link, 1515, that's a three, uh, to my, you know, different ways of solving Sudoku puzzles. You can kind of check that out right now. But also, yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments. Uh, this puzzle is cracked. Thank you so much, the T-Rex. I look forward to featuring more of your puzzles in the future. For everyone who's watching this, let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to more hobbies. I'm going to see new content. Come back tomorrow get another February puzzle, unless I'm at the end of February. And then I'll go back to at least two a week. Uh, if you can't wait that long, check out these other videos from my channel. Thank you all so much for watching.